Uh, we were coming from a year with low inflation, um, low interest rates, um, high equity volumes, and very strong outlook for re post-COVID recovery. And we moved into a year with uh, war in Ukraine, inflation back, U-turn on, uh, on, on, on central bank uh, policy mix. And, and that, that's where we are today, on the top of it with, uh, with an energy crisis. So that's absolutely normal that uh, volatility was there. There has been significant rotation within asset classes. I think the average uh, indices level that do not tell what has happened within sectors. Mm -hmm. And that has been quite ama amazing. Um, but. Um, there have been uh, moments on prices. What is important is that what we have observed in Europe is that a, a relatively strong resilience of European indices, mm -hmm. uh, clearly. Uh, um, we, we, we operate now on uh, uh, Euronext markets across uh, eight markets uh, with, um, with clearly 25% of the equities traded in Europe trading on, on Euronext platform with a single liquidity pool, a single order book a single technology platform, and that gives us strong visibility to, to accommodate and to observe all those flows. Mm -hmm. and, and clearly, um, um, we, are, we are relatively confident about 23. Have any asset classes stood out in particular in terms of increased volumes? Yeah, I mean, uh, commodities has been impressive, not only in terms of energy. We operate the largest uh, soft commodities markets in, in Europe, in particular when it comes to wheat, corn, uh, or rapeseed. And, and clearly, uh, prices uh, have been uh, approximately twice the, the size of the average prices of the past five years for for the, 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 the for wheat, and and they have been increased derivatives uh, volumes because of the situation in Ukraine. Yeah, I want to talk about primary listings. I saw last month Europe briefly overtook UK as the primary venue for primary listings. Is this a phenomenon that you expect to endure? And also, and may I ask, do you think that this is again one of the ongoing knock-on effect, knock effects of, of Brexit? Yeah, let's, let's be specific. Uh, what Bloomberg said is that uh, the aggregate market capitalizations of companies listed on Euronext Paris uh, was larger than the aggregate market capitalizations of companies listed on, on the London Stock Exchange, which is true. Uh, what is relevant, though, is not really the, the venue where companies are listed, but the markets where they are traded. Mm -hmm. 